Welcome to Totally Integrated Instrumentation. In this video we continue our look at the Citrans Library faceplate for TIA Portal for the Siemens Coriolis meter, the FC430. So in part one we, we got the data into the data block and you can see here the, um, the function block that, that is linked to the data is coming in and I'm, I'm happy with that. So the next stage is to generate the visualization. So I have my WinCC professional um, project at this precise moment going to press so uh, July 2020. Uh, this is for uh, professional only. Uh, the HMI faceplates uh, are due to be released early uh, January 21 hopefully. So um, we need to, to create the visualization so again if I open up my my library there's a few things I need to bring into to my project if I go to um, my master copies I need to bring in my HMI tags so I drag that into my project I'll touch base on those in a minute and then under WinCC Professional you've got your script so we need to bring in your Visual Basic script and then your the folder with your um, faceplates in so if we go to screens there we have the uh, FC430 PA so drag that whole folder in there's multiple screens on the underneath there and put those into your project if you're using the example project for the first time you you need to set your your theme to uh, WinCC light and then you need to add in the the screens on the master copy these ones main menu and system and under your main your, your you need to set your start screen to LS start so with that in, you, you, you've got a ready-to-go project. But really, if if you've got an existing project, then you don't you don't need these. It just it gives you something to as a reference. So we've got that all dragged in. So we go back to our project over here on the left. You can see if I go to my um, scripts, Visual Basic, it, it's already in there. I have my FC 430 screens these are all locked up so you can't edit them and my HMI tag so I might need to do a bit of editing here so the first time that you you put these tags in your, your, your demo project on the right hand side has a different HMI connection and this may be true if you've got multiple FC 430s you might need to change this name to match the name in your UDT table in in your PLC code so at the moment we've only got one so we have that change the connection and then you've got to re-establish the 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 links between the two well there's a nice little feature on TIA portal so you click on this synchronize make sure paths of PLC and data type absolute address match and then click on synchronize and that will bring them back together the likelihood is the first time you put it in if your connection is not the same as what's in the demo projects, these will all go um, like a pink colour and you'll get uh, compiling errors. The ones you're not using, just delete. Um, uh, in my projects I'm using all of them so that they're all there. So that's it, we've got the everything set up. The next stage is to um, add the faceplate and establish the links between the faceplate. Now in my project, on the main, I've got this list demo screen and if I scroll over there's my FC430 this so you can see it and th there's two of these available as you can see for my, my other Coriolis meter the, the technology cards you can have one with four process values on the display or one and that's just if you type for space on your on your main operator screen so I'll show you how to, to drag the one in this one's already working so if we go to libraries and you can see here faceplates 
and this one is the one with multiple so the dash one so we'll, we'll drag in the first one they, they work in exactly the same way to set them up there's no difference so with this I go to properties and the first thing I've got to do is uh, establish my uh, link to my interface so it knows where to go HMI tag and it is a Citrans FC40 PA so we've got that um, and now I just need to to launch the Visual Basic code that's sitting in the back so I go to my events and then on the left, left mouse button click I select the Visual Basic code and then I, got the, I get these three functions well the screen number I always want to start with screen 0 and then these two values are strings so you need to change those to strings so the UDT tag prefix comes from your uh, list tags table so if I open this up it's this value here so the easiest thing to do is copy that if I put that into to that line there and then your symbol type comes from your screens here so I need to copy the whole name including the underscore but not the number because the number is taken care of with the screen number underneath so for this one that's it and, and that's the same method for all of these faceplates um, drag in your, your product uh, delete the ones you don't need in your tag table put in the visual basic code then establish these links all I need to do now is a compile and start the runtime once we've started the runtime I can see my my two faceplates they're both looking at the same data it's just this one's only got one process value so if I click on this it doesn't matter which one I click on it the functionality will be the same so here you get your um, flow rate your gradient alarms I can reset those and then I can decide what I want for these four main process values um, but in the background everything is being read so I can link those to other parts of my process if I want so you can see here I've got my fractions and, and my my percentage um, ABV so it doesn't matter if it's not mapped in my four process values I can still use it throughout throughout my process then if I want to change anything this one has a quick start wizard and I've, I've read a configuration already but you can just go through this it shows you how to install the device and how to wire it if you've got a remote one and then we have things like your flow direction if you've got it physically put in the wrong way round you can change that and then I can change my pump filters um, and then down here we've got our low flow cutoff uh, for, for both mass flow and volume flow so I can edit either, any of these and then if I go through this is just giving me a summary of what I've done and then I can click on transfer if I want to change what process values are mapped here then if I click on this circle button I have um, volume flow I'll change that to mass flow and then control commands you may not need it all of the time you may want to keep that hidden but I've got it here um, you can change it whenever you want from the faceplate but this is so I can zero the flow meter and then we've got a totalizer and fraction A well let's put one of the temperatures in there when you've done that you need to write that to the device so the first thing you need to do is put in the password which is 2457 and then write that to the instrument so it's writing it to the block but also to, to the instrument once you've done your download you can see here it's changed your units and also if I go to my alarms now I've got an alarm for each one of those um, process values and I, I can change those and um, acknowledge them from from this screen I have my alarm banner my trends 
and if I had totalizers and batching selected I would have the control functionality for those as well. So there you go, uh, how to integrate the, the FC430 into the Citrans library for TIA portal. Hope you found it useful. As you can see, it's getting hot in my office, so I'm off to get a, a cold drink. I hope you enjoyed the content. Don't forget to hit the like button, and please share this content with your friends and colleagues. Thanks for your support.